Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigurd so here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Auto Blinda 41. Uh, also very simply abbreviated to the AV41. This vehicle here was uh, designed as a improvement over the previous AV40. Instead of having a 8mm uh, millimeter, uh, machine gun, it was equipped with a 20mm uh, Breda auto cannon as its main armament. It also was equipped with two 8mm Breda machine guns as well. The AB-41 was a also improved in the sense that it had an all riveted construction. It also had four wheel drive and four wheel steering system, however that proved to be kind of troublesome with the steering system. Uh, it also had spare wheels mounted onto the sides of the vehicle which were free to rotate so it allowed it to traverse uh, rough terrain and also have helping it out in scaling high obstacles. The uh, vehicle uh, had a lot of problems with it, um, such as difficult access to the engine, uh, unprotected fuel uh, tanks, and one man turret. It overall, had a lot of problems with the vehicle, uh, but still, considering the, those problems, it's still considered one of the best armored cars for its era. Um, there were plans to upgrade the Auto Blinda series for, to the 43, which would have included a 47mm gun, but the pl plans of those uh, never really went through with anything and uh, it never entered production um, as it was uh, meant to. Uh, however, I do have one design, so you can probably expect to see that sometime soon because it looks absolutely amazing. Um, anyways, it's a really cool armored car and it's pretty much the staple of Italian uh, armored cars really and again is arguably one of the best armored cars for its time. Uh, going ahead and taking a look at it, it's uh, obviously just as, you know, a standard kind of Italian tan camo scheme and um, came out pretty good overall. So up here in the front we have obviously the driver's viewport. Uh, we have two headlights on both sides here and also two side mirrors. One fun fact about this vehicle is that there's actually two drivers. There's one in the back and there's also one in the front. So you can actually drive this thing uh, backwards if you wanted to as well. Um, which is very interesting to say the very least. Uh, so it also has mirrors on the back here as well for that purpose. Uh, there's also a machine gun mounted on the back here as well. You have the one-man turret up on top here with the 20mm and also a coaxial 8mm um, machine gun. Uh, radio antenna kind of on the side here in the standard Italian fashion of having the radio antenna just go straight back and not actually stick up. Uh, which I guess actually is a good idea because it doesn't disrupt the turret flow at all. Uh, on the back here just some various details, events and all that stuff over the um, engine compartment and brake lights and all that fun stuff. and. Um, overall, that's pretty much the AB41. Overall, really nice build and a redesign uh, over my previous a uh, Auto Blinda uh, vehicle. So, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed the tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys. So, moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer one. For layer one, what we want to do to go ahead and get started here is we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick stairs that are going to be basically upside down, back to back, just like this. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and go to this uh, narrow brick stair here and place down one, two, and three stone brick tops out of the cross. We're then going to place down another brick upside down stair like this and another one right behind it to go ahead and create your front axle with your left and front wheel. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone slabs, place down one, two, and three sandstone top slabs across the middle here, uh, going toward the front, followed by a row of three of wooden trap doors like that for the front of the vehicle. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone uh, slabs again. We're going to place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs across after the stone brick top slabs. We grant, we're then going to go ahead and replicate this uh, layer th three more times back so we have four rows of three. So we have one, two, and three more rows back like that. We also want to go ahead and go to the um, third row of three here of uh, sandstone top slabs. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate on both sides like that. Once that's all done, go ahead and continue now. We're going to take our stone brick slabs again. We're going to place down a row of three across here. Um, then we're going to be after these uh, sandstone top slabs, we're then going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair again on both sides and a narrow brick upside down stair right behind the stair to go ahead and create the back there, the wheels. Once that's um, all done there, that is going to do it for layer one of the build. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, layer two. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to get started here, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of these narrow brick upside down stairs. This is going to be on all uh, wheels here, so it's going to go all the way around so you have four uh, complete wheels. All the way around just like that. Once that's done we're going to go ahead and go to the stone brick top slab here that's going to be in the middle. We're going to place down an anvil on top of those stone brick top slabs followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides like so. 
When that's done, we're going to go ahead and focus in on the front here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a row three of smooth sandstone in between these narrow brick stairs in the front. We then want to go ahead and go to these three wooden trap doors in the front here, and we're going to place down a row three of sandstone stairs. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and take some smooth sandstone, place down a row three back, going toward the middle section here, and we just want to go ahead and place down uh, three, or sorry, four rows of three uh, of smooth sandstone to basically fill in the space right here. Uh, going ahead and going to our first two rows here from the front, going back, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick, two narrow brick up stairs back to back, like this on the sides of those smooth sandstone blocks. And behind those stairs, we're going to go ahead and go to the next two smooth sandstone blocks here and place down two cobblestone walls coming off the sides of those blocks as well. So we have our spare tire and kind of the slanting here on the sides for the armor. Coming back here to this section, in between these two narrow brick stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a second row of three back, and then we're just going to place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs across the back there. On the front of these stairs here, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door and flick it upwards like that. And also going to the front here, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on the front of these narrow brick stairs like that. With uh, that all complete, that is going to do it for layer two. With that, we'll move on to our next layer, layer three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a place where block on top of this wooden trap door here on both sides in the front. We're then going to place down a wither skeleton skull that's going to be just plain straight, just like this on top of the block. We're going to delete these two blocks, and then on the bottom of those, uh, with our skeleton skulls, we're going to place down an end rod that goes down like that for the kind of like the side mirrors here on both sides. Once that's done there, we're going to go and take some sandstone slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across the top of these three smooth sandstone blocks. So just like that across. We then want to place down a brown carpet on both ends like that. Once that's uh, done there, we're going to go and place down a sandstone uh, upside down stair. That's going to be on both sides <clears throat> just like this on top of the narrow brick stair. So just like that. And the space in between, we're going to go and place down a smooth sandstone block coming off the sandstone stair there to the left side. And we want to go and continue on by placing down a sandstone slab on top of the anvil and then a sandstone stair to the side there to create the driver's viewport. With that all done, we're going to go and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle here, followed by a two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick stairs from the previous layer. So it's going to create the spare tire on the side here. And then, uh, like we've been doing, we're just going to take our smooth sandstone blocks, place down a second row of three across, a third row of three on both sides of this uh, row of three here. We're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair. We then want to go ahead and continue on by placing down a narrow row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle, followed by a birch wood upside down stair on both sides this time. Uh, continue on, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle, followed by a sandstone stair on both sides. With that done, we can continue on by placing down a uh, sand smooth, smooth sandstone block there in the middle followed by a stone brick stair like this on both sides and coming off the side of the stone brick stair and place down a sandstone slab to both sides like that once that's done going ahead and going off this smooth sandstone block here in the middle we're going to place down a narrow smooth sandstone block back uh, we're going to place down a sandstone stair on both sides here so it kind of comes off these stairs at an angle there um, so these stranded corner stairs you have regular stairs like that across the back here we then want to take some stone brick stairs and we're going to place down a row of one two and three across the back here so we have a corner stair on both sides and a regular stair there in the middle. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, on top of these wooden trap doors here, we're going to place down a narrow placeholder block on both sides. Like we did in the front, we're going to place down a, uh, a uh, wither skeleton skull on top of those blocks. We then can go ahead and delete uh, these blocks on the bottom here and we're going to go and place down an end rod in the blocks place. So it's just going to go ahead and go on top of the wooden trap door and same thing over here just like that. Uh, once that's all done, we can go and grab ourselves some birchwood fence gates, and we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate basically coming off these stone brick corner stairs. So birchwood fence gate like this, and we're going to go and open them up toward the rear of the vehicle. Coming off the birchwood fence gates, we're going to place down a item frame on both sides here. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves a red stained glass block in the item frames. We're going to place down a red stained glass block, and then we want to go and grab ourselves a sign and place down a sign over the, um, basically over the item frame coming off the birchwood fence gate. Um, after that's all done there, we're going to go to the front also, and we're going to go and place down a um, just an item frame on both sides here, and in the item frame we're going to go and place down a glass block like this for the front headlights. Once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer 3, and with that we can move on to layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. For layer 4 to go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and take our sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a row 3 across the sandstone slab, smooth sandstone block and sandstone stair over here. 
We then want to place down a sandstone corner stair on both sides like that. After that's done, go ahead and go and cross the middle here. We're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks, followed by again a sandstone stair on both sides of this row of three of smooth sandstone. Once that's done, uh, going ahead and going toward the, or going to the front here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door and place it down, coming off this sandstone corner stair on both sides like that. Go ahead and continue now. We're going to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across right here, followed by again a sandstone stair here on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a birch wood stair on both sides. We're then going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across again in the middle. Again, a birch wood stair on both sides here. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the left side, and the left side only. We're going to go ahead and go to this sandstone corner stair in the front here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton school off to the side. And taking end rods, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, uh, three, four, five, and six end rods back like that for the uh, radio antenna that's kind of uh, down, going horizontal rather than sticking up vertically. Uh, on the back section here, we just want to go ahead and place down a sandstone top slab over here on the right side, followed by a sandstone slab here in the middle. On the side of the sandstone slab, we're going to place down a wooden trap door to the side. Going back from the sandstone slab, we're going to place down a narrow slab back, followed by another wooden trap door back. Also coming off this sandstone top slab, we're going to place down an end rod. And to the side of the top slab, to the right side, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign like that. Uh, once that's all done there, that is going to complete uh, layer number four. And with that, we can move on to layer five. And actually, we're going to move on to our last final layer, so we'll just go ahead and do layers five and six. Since layers uh, five and six are both pretty simple, we can go ahead and knock them out together as we go on. So to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block on the center um, block in this row of three here, of smooth sandstone blocks. Coming off that uh, smooth sandstone block, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone top slab. On the right side of the top slab, we're going to place down a sign. On the left side, we're going to place down a item frame. Now coming off the slab, we're going to place down one and two end rods going forward for the 20 millimeter auto cannon. On both sides of this smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair to both sides like this. Over here, we'll be on the left side, the left stair over here. We're going to place down an end rod that comes off of it for the coaxial 8 millimeter machine gun. We're then going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a stone button on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a a uh, smooth sandstone block here in the middle, followed by a sandstone stair on both sides. And this uh, smooth sandstone block is actually going to be a birchwood plank. So we're just going to go ahead and swap that out real quick for a birchwood plank. Um, we also just want to go ahead and lastly for layer 5, place down a wither skeleton skull on top of the smooth sandstone block right here to the right side. Now on top of the turret, moving on to layer 6, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of wooden trap doors across the top here. We then want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on the left side, fall by one and two birchwood slabs over to the side. We're then going to place down a sandstone slab on top of this birchwood plank here. And in the corners here on the, the stairs, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle uh, on both sides here, like that to kind of round off the turret. And once that's all complete, that's going to pretty much do it for the Autoblinda 41 uh, armored car. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this build. It's a nice redesign for the Autoblinda, but also a very iconic Italian vehicle for sure. Uh, anyways, if you guys do be using this, this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being anything from sign the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as I get credit for the build, that's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.